The co-founder of Rolling Stone magazine has been removed from his leadership position at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame because of what he said about black and female artists. Here's ABC's Derek Dennis. Well, I interviewed, had to meet a couple of criteria, but just kind of my personal interest and love of them. Insofar as women, I mean, there were just none of them were as articulate enough on this intellectual level. Winners' profiles were of white male performers, including Mick Jagger, John Lennon, and Bono, while notable women and black performers were not profiled. It's not that they're not creative geniuses. It's not that they're inarticulate, although go have a deep conversation with Grace Slick or Janice. Please be my guest. You know, Joni was not a philosopher of rock and roll. She didn't, in my mind, meet that test, not by her work, not by other interviews she did. For just for public relations sake, maybe I should have gone and found uh, one black and one woman artist to include here that didn't measure up to that same historical standards just to, to avert this kind of criticism. Winner's comments to the Times prompted his immediate removal from the board of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Winner responded to the backlash, saying, In my interview with the New York Times, I made comments that diminished the contributions, genius, and impact of black and women artists, and I apologize wholeheartedly for those remarks. Winner said in his Times interview that his profile of only white male performers were not deliberate, adding that it just fell together that way and that in retrospect, he does wish he would have interviewed the late Marvin Gaye or Otis Redding. Derek Dennis, ABC News.